We know you have, in fact, visited <coughs> some uh, reservations. I know you've been in North and South Dakota, the Turtle Mountain, Chippewa, and some other places. What, what kind of lessons have you taken from that? H having seen those situations, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how much of that you had seen before, but having gone there had to make some kind of impression. <coughs> And I'm wondering, what did you walk away with? What did you learn or what, what did you take that is going to help as Secretary of HUD? You're right. Um, it was an eye-opening experience. Um, the most poignant moment that I've had in these last four months uh, was at the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. Um, <clears throat> uh, I visited two homes there. Um, and one of, the, one of the homes had 13 people living in one four-bedroom home, 12 or 13 people, and the other one had 17 people, including two different families living in the basement uh, of this home. And my overall feeling being there was that, you know, to the extent that, that we call ourselves at HUD the Department of Opportunity, that we, we want to, to better help spark opportunity by realizing that housing is just one part of it. You know, you need, somebody needs to have a roof over their head, but they also, if they're young, you need to make sure that they have good access to education. If you're working age, uh, employment or job training so that you can become employable. And the feeling that I got um, at Pine Ridge was just how distant all of that seems. The connections among those things and just in general the opportunity distant from the folks there. I found that the unemployment rate there was something like 68% among folks. Mm -hmm. And so you have these inveterate challenges. And what, we, what we're trying to do, in addition to, to the money, the investments, which are very important because, as you all know better than I do, with, with your life's work, the, the needs out there are much greater than the resources that have been dedicated to it, is at, at our level, the, the federal agencies, how do we get better about working together? The Department of, of Housing and Urban Development, Education, USDA, Small Business Administration, to create those institutions of opportunity um, and empower communities, whether they're tribal communities or these rural communities that are out there. And um, so what I took back from it was that, hey, we need to get on the ball at HUD about figuring out you know, how does our ICDBG program and our Indian Housing Block Grant program, how are we interacting with the other departments? Uh, how are we interacting with those tribal communities and the private sector as well to help spark that opportunity in those places? Because uh, I, I could understand after visiting um, how some folks would feel like they're so far away from opportunity. What is your top priority in addressing Indian housing needs as HUD secretary? Uh, my top priority is, in addition to, I think, resources is number one. Um, however, I think that goes without saying in the line of work that we're in. Uh, my top priority is figuring out how do we better connect the investments that we're making in housing to other opportunities. Um, it really is not enough to ensure that, that someone has a roof over his or her head. That should be a first step, and we need to do that. But after that, it's how do we do everything that we can in a smart way and work with tribal communities, uh, nation to nation, to ensure that we're empowering them to, so that folks can, can get a good education and then achieve their dreams. And uh, the Tribal Nations Conference is going on right now, and so I was there this morning on a panel with with uh, Secretary Vilsack, Secretary Fox of Transportation, and Maria Contreras Sweet of SBA, uh, and, and talking about how we can work better with our programmatic funding to help communities accomplish that. So I would say that, that the number one priority is getting smarter about what we do so that we make a bigger impact with the limited resources we have.